Okay, here are the proofs for the 3-3 homework worked out in detail for you. So, same story. We're always going to do our given and we're always going to mark our picture. So, if HJ is a perpendicular bisector of KI, prove the triangles are congruent. Perpendicular bisector is a term from last unit. What does that give me? It gives me a whole bunch of stuff. It gives me that I have a right angle. It gives me that this piece and this piece are equal. It gives me this piece and this piece is equal. And so those are the three pieces I'm going to detail right now by the perpendicular bisector theorem. It also gives me that angle H is bisected, which I could use. Uh, there are probably about four ways to do this proof but I'm going to take the most straightforward route with those pieces of information. So I am going to say that H, J, I is e angle H, J, I is equal to angle H, J, K, which is equal to 90 degrees. I need to emphasize there's a 90 degree angle, and that is by definition of perpendicular bisector. Then I'm going to do the bisected part that KJ is equal to IJ, also by definition of perpendicular bisector. That perpendicular bisector, if a point like H is on the perpendicular bisector, we know it is equidistant to the end points K and I of a segment. And so HK is equal to HI by the definition of perpendicular bisector or perpendicular bisector theorem. I can live with either one. And what happens in this special case, because I have a right triangle, I can say that my triangles are congruent. Triangle HJK is congruent to triangle HJI by HL because I know the hypotenuse and one leg. So that is all there is to that proof. In number 20, we're just going to get the perpendicular piece and an equal piece. So AD is perpendicular to CB. Now we don't know bisector, so be careful. And AC is equal to AB. This is given. AC is equal to AB. I'm going to use that piece of given information about being perpendicular, and I'm going to say that angle ADB is equal to angle ADC, which equals 90. And in this case, it's by definition of perpendicular, because that's what I'm given. If I have a right triangle and I know the hypotenuse, I'm going to look for one of the legs to be equal. And in this case, I have that reflexive side. I have that AD equals AD by reflexive. I can say my triangles are congruent. Triangle CAD is congruent to triangle BAD. By HL, I know the hypotenuse in the leg, and then I get my angles. Angle C is equal to angle B by C, P, C, P, C. It is a corresponding part of the triangles I have now proven congruent. Now, 21 is back to my butterfly picture. Numerous, numerous proofs can happen with the butterfly picture depending on the given information. If IJ is equal to LJ and HJ is equal to KJ by given, I always watch to see if this is a twist proof or a fold in half proof because it can vary based on the given. Right there I know it's a twist proof. I'm going to have to twist it. This picture always gives me vertical angles. So I'm going to go ahead and write those. Angle I, J, H is equal to angle, watch your congruent statement, L, J, K, by the vertical angle theorem. Let 
my triangles are now congruent by, sorry about that, angle, or er, side, angle, side, triangle I, J, H is congruent to triangle L, J, K by side, angle, side. I, H, and L, K are corresponding parts of congruent triangles. And so they are congruent. And that is 22. Now, 21, excuse me, 23, little different take on our butterfly picture. And we might have some distractors. F and G are random points on my line. Don't be thrown off by them. Make sure you need them before you use them. So C is the midpoint of BD and AE. That's an important distinction. That means that this piece and this piece and this piece and that piece are equal. I'm also given that AB is equal to DE. My proof is almost done. So I'm going to take my midpoint information and I'm going to write that BC is equal to DC and that AC is equal to EC. That is by definition of midpoint. I my given. I already have three sides congruent, so I can say that triangle ACB is congruent to triangle E. C corresponds to C, D by side, 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 and I will get my angles. Angle B is equal to angle E by C, P, C, T, C. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. And that is number 22. 23, we're going to mix up our shape a little bit. Go to our kite picture. We are given that angle X, Y, W is equal to angle Z, Y, W, and that X, Y is equal to Z, Y, and I'm going to try to prove angles congruent. And if I want to prove angles congruent, that probably means that I'm going through CPCTC. So X, Y, W is this one, and Z, Y, W is this one side xy and zy are right there. This picture always has that reflexive side right here that they're sharing. So I'm going to go ahead and take that. yw is equal to yw. It's a fold and half proof. My congruent statement reflects that. If you look at your picture, you have it congruent by side, angle, side. So triangle Z, Y, W is congruent to triangle X, Y, W by side, angle, side. And then, of course, my angles X, W, Y is equal to angle Z, W, Y, X, W, Y, this one, and Z, W, Y, that one by our favorite CPCTC. Number 24. Given that AD is a perpendicular bisector of CE and that CD equals EA. So we're trying to prove triangles congruent. AD is a perpendicular bisector. Pay attention to which segment it's a perpendicular bisector of. And CD equals EA. That's my given. I'm going to go over my picture and I'm going to write CD equals EA. Now, perpendicular bisector of CE, so AD. So that means I'm going to get a right angle here and I'm going to bisect those two segments. AD does the bisecting to CE, so make sure that you're reading your sentences properly. So I'm going to say 
that angle C B D is equal to angle E B A, which is equal to 90. And that is definition of perpendicular. And now I'm going to say that CB is equal to EB, definition of perpendicular bisector, or perpendicular bisector theorem. Either one is fine at this point. Because I have a right triangle, when I look closely at my picture, I see that I have the criteria for HL. So BCD is congruent to triangle BEA by HL. HL is a nice little shortcut for right triangles.